Hello members of Credit Suisse, my name is Jose Luis Bedoya and I'm going to compare LVMH with Burberry Group under the Hold framework, where I believe that LVMH is a better investment than Burberry. 2015 has been a rough year for the luxury sector, marked by a challenging global environment with a slowdown of the Chinese economy, increased geopolitical concerns and uncertainty in the Eurozone. These changes have influenced investor sentiments towards value stocks such as LVMH, which has and will continue to be benefited. The Burberry Group is a British fashion house. The group sells outwear, fashion accessories, and fragrances, among others. The company has 500 stores in over 50 countries. We can observe that the acquisitions of their former licenses in Spain and Asia, plus the joint venture to operate in the Middle East, created an unsustainable asset growth rate, which destroyed economic value and shareholder value in 2008. They are growing assets at a rate that they cannot finance themselves. This is reflected in the operating margins and asset terms, which has declined. The sales growth is paired with the industry, which is not navigating through calm waters. I believe that management is not doing a great job and its CFRI level will continue to fade, resulting in a steep fall in the shareholder value. The LVMH Group is a French luxury conglomerate that owns 53 luxury brands ranging from wines to jewelry, among other sectors. If you're familiar with Louis Vuitton, Dom Pérignon, Hublot, Christian Dior, then you're familiar with some of the LVMH brands. Historically, it provided high CFRI with high spread against its cost of capital, unlike Burberry. Management has done a fantastic job with asset growth. The company is characterized for paying high premium on its continuous acquisitions. Although some of these acquisitions are beyond sustainable growth rate, the company has been successful maintaining high and stable CFRI. I believe that the company will continue to maintain a stable CFRI levels for several reasons. Margins have been consistently high and I believe that they will continue to be high. Asset turns continue to be stable, despite being below the industry. While sales growth in the industry continue to be muted, LVMH outperformed the industry. Finally, the sustainable growth rate maintains CFRI and creates shareholder return. Observing the economic profit, we see that Burberry has done a good job until 2014, but then assets did not generate any profit, and as a result CFRI began to fade. On the other hand, LVMH has been creating economic profit throughout its history, meaning that LVMH has been growing assets in a very good way. Expectations have been historically high for LVMH because the company has always delivered high CFROIs. On the other hand, analyst forecasts have continued to go down for Burberry Group, which leads to a downward trend and the future does not seem to be any brighter. As a conclusion, I believe that LVMH is going to outperform Burberry Group and is going to be a better investment overall, in the long and the short run. Thank you very much for your time.